Howdy folks, of course a very, very, very warm welcome to you. My name is Nick, we're in the Commodore Amiga, and we're playing for fun. It's Nincompoop Chat Dodgy Gameplay, or the other way around. Uh, this game is called City Defence, published by Kingsoft in 1987. Uh, it's based on the arcade uh, Coin-Up Missile Command from Atari in 1980, so it's a clone of that. We'll be using the mouse. We've reviewed uh, lots of variants of this game on the ZX Spectrum, although I don't think we've reviewed any on the Commodore Amiga. I might be wrong. Uh, the brain tends to decay as you get a bit older, but uh, there we go. So see how this one plays. It looks very much like a public domain game at the moment, but it was actually released. Kingsoft 87. So here's my crosshairs. We need to defend the Earth cities from alien attack, and here comes the aliens here. So I've got two missile silos. By pressing different mouse buttons controls which one I'm firing out of. They've got a set amount of bullets, and if you're unfamiliar with this game, the game ends when all of your cities and missile silos have been destroyed. To get to the next level, so we've done that one. To get to the next level, all you've got to do is survive with at least one of them intact. Uh, there, and as I say, they don't regenerate. The laser fire from above will get progressively more difficult. There's aliens there, we get more points if we shoot them. So it's all about timing and aiming and going as quickly as you can. It's a game that's uh, on the Spectrum. We played a lot of time on keys because the Spectrum didn't have a mouse, which was a bit of a challenge. Here it should be a little bit easier, but it's screaming out for a light gun. Now, if you had this game back in the day, let me know. It's very, very, very early in the Commodore Amiga's run, so that's probably why it looks a bit public domain and the fonts look a bit basic. But this is one of the first ones, I believe, 87. That's bang in, bang in the 8-bit world, isn't it, really? But I do like that ominous music that starts first of all. Right, so you can see it's gradually getting more difficult. Colours is changing ever so slightly, which is making it a little bit uh, interesting on the eye. But is it an accurate representation of Missile Command? Yes. Is it starting off easy enough? Yes. It's very uh, inviting for the newbie that wants a bit of arcade action fun. Now, these reviews aren't about expert gameplay, although I'm not doing too badly here. About seeing how you would have found the game in the first or second go, and would there have been enough there for you to want to play it again? And I'd say yes, if I wanted Missile Command on my Commodore Amiga, this would be the one to get uh, there. And you know, it's a good early uh, game, much better was to come, but I don't think there's too much more you can do with Missile uh, Command. Uh, city defense, defend those cities, right? Nothing's been destroyed so far, but it's only a matter of time. Well, get, they're, they're getting closer. Oh god, I think that one's through. Yes, we've lost, we've lost about three or four cities there. We just need to control. Oh god! We just need to save one. I don't think they regenerate from time to time. If you lose a missile uh, silo, of course, then of course you've got less things to fire, and it's the beginning of the end. The missiles. It looks like the missile silos regenerate, but the cities do not. They're harder to rebuild city. Oh, it's, it's coming up here a bit quicker now. Oh god! Probably best maybe just to try and defend one city then, and let the let the others blow up. If that's your city that's got destroyed, I do apologize. Oh, a bomb's hit that one. God, I think Leeds has gone. Oh no, somewhere else has gone. That's the end of York. Oh dear. They're all the same size, these cities. I don't know if they're the capital city. Bonus points for each one that you save. I'll have a few goes on this, but you know already how it plays. If you want to track it down, of course, City and Dirt Fence. Boof. Uh, it's not that advanced, is it, really? But it's, it's doing stuff. We, we've reviewed Missile Command and variants on it on a lot of systems. Uh, Atari 2600. I don't think we reviewed it on the Commodore 64, actually. But anyway, all, all the cities are blown up now. But I've got missile silos. Does that mean I can continue? I don't know. Maybe. I think when the cities are gone, you're doomed. Is it going to say game over? Might do. Yeah, game over. There's no one left to save. Right, okay. So I'll have a few goes. Written by Juve Kuna, if I pronounce that right, which I probably haven't. City defense. It's retro. It's a sort of like game. It's um. It was come later on in the Commodore Amiga's run. You expect it to be released with a load of other classics like Asteroids and Centipede and all those other ones back in that era. Maybe Pac-Man as well and Tempest. I, I'm enjoying seeing these. So this is basically where arcade gaming sort of like um, started out. It's a good bit of fun. It's a good bit of stress busting really. Point and click. Uh, no uh, keys here or joystick. Just point and click and try and save the cities. But you, your reactions need to get a little bit quicker. So uh, if you want some reaction practice to try and increase your reflexes then maybe this is a good retro fun way of doing it. If you're liking your Commodore Amiga stuff, we've reviewed loads and loads. I think I'm coming up to 500 at time of recording. Uh, that's a lot of games, isn't it? The good and the bad and the ugly. But if you want to see them all, they're in the playlist there. Click on my username, takes you to the channel page. 
uh, then click on um, playlists and that'll be Common Law Liga there as well. We're playing for fun, it's stress busting. I'm trying to give you as much as I possibly can, but this isn't a full time channel. Sometimes people forget that. I want it to be full time, but I need to work as well to pay the bills. So thank you for the, the subscribers and a huge thank you for the members. Uh, some things have actually taken a bit of a backseat while I try and work my butt off, but you know. Um, energy wise it's a little bit tough so uh, thank you very much uh, members has gone down a little bit and I can understand that really uh, with the cost of price and stuff going up and I've been producing slightly less but I still produce a lot compared to a lot of other channels so thank you very much as I try and defend these cities so the first few levels are quite easy here bonus points Bim, 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 bim. It's not too far off a typing, is it, on the, on the ZX Spectrum? But I like the sounds. Good sound selection. Bim, bim, bim. Right, okay, so we're, we're defending Cyan cities, first of all. Uh, these lasers that come down are pretty much random. It is quite good fun when you destroy any of the alien ships. They might drop bombs on your bottom or other areas of your body. Oh, oh I lost a car. Shouldn't be losing cities this, this early, but I am. So don't to do the explosion too early because it's the explosions uh, there that take out the lasers rather than your accuracy. So you need to get a time it. A bit like clay pigeon shooting, if you've ever done that. Shoot just in front of when the uh, the pigeon thing's coming over. Bob -a bomb So now we're in these orange cities and this is when my skill level sorts like to run out. Uh, for someone say keep firing but you might run out of bullets. Maybe I should fire a bit quicker. I need, I need to develop rapid fire. Just keep doing explosions above the city and hope for the best. Oh, I run out of missiles. Oh God. I was lucky to survive with one city intact there. And that takes us to the next level. Right, just defend this city. We've got two silos. It should be easy to defend one city, shouldn't it? One would have fooled. Maybe. Oh, God. Look at that. That one. That's got kaboofed. I might, I might get away with it. No, I'm not getting away with it. Uh oh. Now they're coming from all angles. Yes. Oh, look. Oh, everywhere's blown up again. Oh, oh God. Uh, I do apologise, Earth. Uh, it seems that we've been destroyed by aliens again. So the game's always going to end with game over. It's just going to get progressively more difficult as more and more stuff arranges uh, on you. Yes. Uh, do put your comments below. I do like reading them and it adds a bit of activity uh, to the channel. It's not a very uh, um, excitingly name title, City of Defence, but um, yes. There, there's lots of ones. Is it the best one I've played? Well, it does. It probably. Yeah, probably. Um, yeah, the difficulty ramps up from about stage 3 uh, onwards. There's quite a lot of good ones on the ZX Spectrum. As I say, I don't think I've covered any on the Commodore 64 yet, but I bet there's loads on that as well to catch up with. Bim -bim -bim. It's like the popular games tend to get um, covered quite a lot, don't they, really? Uh, Missile Command, Asteroids, lots of clones there. Pac-Man, Space Invaders, probably the most cloned one, most variants, Galaxians. Also, Tempest, I haven't seen too many of those. It's a game I only recently uh, caught um, up with. Bam, bam, bam. Right, cool. Right, so that's pretty easy sailing. You should be able to keep all your, all your um, cities intact for these first couple of levels, unless you're playing like an absolute nincompoop, which quite often they do. I think this font, you know, is the default font that the Commodore Amiga has. But they haven't even redesigned that. But anyway, 1987, that's all, I'm, that's all I'm saying. There weren't too many games to choose from back in 1987 with the Commodore Amiga, that is for sure. When I first got my Commodore Amiga, it was a little bit later on in the run compared to a lot of people, but it, it was bundled with um, Shadow of the Beast 2, uh, Deluxe Paint 2, um, Days of Thunder, which was uh, rubbish, and Nightbreed, which I never really got the hang of. Oh, well, so I'm back to the future part two. So, but Shadow of the Beast 2 was the one to show off the system. Uh, if you look at this game on the Commodore Amiga and compare it with Shadow of the Beast 2, you think, are they on the same system? Yeah, psychosis with geniuses. So, you know, it, there's a big range of quality on the Commodore Amiga. A lot of other systems don't, don't have. So, look, this and Shadow of the Beast 2. Yeah, ma amazing, isn't it? So, I don't think it's using too much of the, uh, the, the power frame. Uh, there, but um, later on, as I sort of like mentioned, this would have been classed as public domain, but it was an official release. Not sure if there was a sequel, they upgraded it, or did any sort of like other things other than that. But this will be my last go. Uh, you pretty much know everything if you, in fact, are still here. I know a lot of you, or well, some of you, or well, one of you, uh, does uh, does watch the full videos. I think there's a few of you actually, so thank you uh, for that. The uh, channel's been going. Just keep kabooming it, keep kabooming, kabooming and consplatting, and we've got three cities left out of out of uh, six, five, nine, twelve. I can't even count now. 
I, I want that sound every every time my shift starts at work. And like sense of uh, ominousity. That's not a word, is it? Ominousity. So this this is the bit I don't seem to get much further. Just keep blasting, keep blasting. Right, the, the, two, one city left. Oh look at this! Like it's like it's like it accelerates. Well, that's just 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 rubbing it in. And the earth is destroyed again, and it's all thanks to me. Sorry about destroying the earth there. What can I I do? But anyway, basic game. Early game, but for what it's worth, I like it. Great conversion. A lot more advanced games were to come, but does it represent Missile Command well? Yes, it does. So, hope you like having a look at that game. That was City Defense on the Commodore Amiga, played by Kingsoft in 1987, based of course on Missile Command from Atari in 1980. If you've got any um, comments about this game or any faults about this game, anything uh, retro or anything similar, then please put that below. You're always more than welcome, as I say. Until next time, take great care of yourself and a very fond goodbye. Goodbye.